Hello everyone! Today we are going to discuss how the game mode Pro Clubs in FIFA can be improved. There have been no significant changes since the debut in FIFA 11. Only a few minor tweaks. Time for change! So I'm going to give EA some suggestions on which they can improve on. Some of which are small changes, some of which will be large. I am convinced it can be the best game mode if they give it enough attention. I have divided the improvements into smaller subcategories. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin with customization. First of all, making a pro is already decent enough, but there could be so much more. EA should give the option to have tattoos on your body, bird marks on your face, hair color sliders, well, you get the idea. To have a pro which looks exactly like yourself in real life would be awesome. They already have the game application to import a photo of your face on your pro. But most of the time it doesn't look great. Furthermore, no one else from your friends can see your game face. They only see a default face when you are in the match. EA should make it possible to let other people have a look at your beautiful face. Surely, some people will abuse that feature, but hey, they already do. Moving on to customizing your kits and badges. At the moment you can only choose a kit and a badge from the existing clubs and nations. At least you have a wide range of options. But it doesn't feel like your kit. You know what I mean? I want to have a unique kit which identifies the club. The feature to create your own kit was already present on the website. But they should just move it over to pro clubs. Look at NBA 2K for example. Isn't this just awesome how creative you can get? Personally, I would have the face of Yaranaika on my chest. Mm. But there should be more to customize. Why not customize your stadium? In FIFA Manager, you can already upgrade or downgrade stadiums. For pro clubs, they should let you choose how you want to build your stadium. You can choose, for example, to build a roof, second ring, VIP rooms, upgraded benches, etc. Next up is a big one customizing your team. The random generated team you get for every match is just boring. All those players are basically the same with their safety rating in heading, strength, passing, shooting, etc. Though it doesn't feel like they are that good. I have two suggestions for this. The first idea is based on the ultimate team concept. In this idea I suggest to implement real life players in the game mode which you can buy to upgrade your team. So if your defense is weak, buy David Luiz. Or when you need better passing on the midfield, buy Isco. In the end it will look like ultimate team with your friends and yourself playing besides the pros. I don't know if this can be balanced in some way, so therefore I prefer the second ID. This ID involves default players. For example, they are all safety rated and have the same stats. It is now your mission as the manager to upgrade those players. And you and your team will become better in this way. It should even be possible to pick the names and the appearance of the AI players. Though this should not be as free as your own prof because there is a high chance you will play against a team of slots, those slots. So now is a good time to introduce the club point system. It's very simple. Each time you complete a match, you get club points. Just like coins in Ultimate Team. These points will be put on the bank of the club and can be used to do upgrades for your club. These club points can be used for upgrading your stadium or upgrading slash buying your AI players. This will also reduce the people from club hopping or creating a new club in an easy division. Besides obtaining club points for completing matches, you should also get pro points for completing matches and completing objectives. Your pro should also be a mediocre safety rated for this to work. This is going to be a somewhat longer explanation. So let's say you begin pro clubs in the new FIFA. No matches played and you are safety rated. With the pro points you get after completing a match, you can improve your pro stats. Let's work out an example. Let's say you have earned 4000 pro points for completing a match. Now you want to improve your sprint speed to run past the defense. Let's use this formula. The letter N means the level you are right now. To improve your sprint speed from 70 to 71, you need to invest about 3000 pro points with this formula. With this formula, you can easily upgrade your skills that are safety rated after every match. But if you want to improve your sprint speed from 90 to 91, it takes about 15,000 pro points. This will at least take 4 matches to earn. This formula will prevent people to put all their points into pace alone and run past the defense. I know this formula is not optimal, but it's a concept to balance the way of investing points. I'm not a mathematician, okay? 
This concept can also be implemented on upgrading your AI team, with some minor tweaks. Side note, with this you can also be fast when you are tall, just like Ronaldo. Though I think you should begin with a lower sprint speed rating when you start off as a tall person. This system will also take away those annoying accomplishments, which you need to complete to become better. Now for another category, game options. First off, you should be able to spectate other people's games. This is the first step to being an esports game. But more importantly, your friends that are waiting for the match to finish can now watch the game instead of the scoreboard in the lobby. Which brings me to a better solution, which is substitutes. When your friends are a little too late to join the game, they can ask for a substitution and drop in in the middle of the match. This at least reduces the boring waiting times. Another thing they should implement is the option for a casual match. This would be a handy tool to try out new tactics, try out new players or if you just want to goof around. To make the game more diverse, EA should also have more frequent tournaments. Now it's just once in two weeks. If you win a tournament, you not only get a trophy, but also some club points. Or an item for a stadium to show off what you won. And for the last category, we have statistics. The leaderboards in this FIFA are not representative for how good players are. Of course you can see how many goals they scored and how many matches they have played, but the main factor that is putting people on the leaderboards is the amount of games they played linked with their match rating. What EA should do is make different leaderboards only focusing on one attribute, like their win-loss ratio, total assists given, hat-tricks scored, etc. I also believe divisions are sometimes boring, therefore I suggest to reintroduce the point ranking system from FIFA 11, just as an alternative not as a standard option. Now that I have mentioned all the big topics, I will mention some smaller possible improvements down below. Let's get started. Remove the text when you have received a red card. It's always in the way. Give the captains their captain's band and not give it to a random AI. Balance goalkeepers. Sometimes they have the most impossible saves. Have a photo kick option, especially in drop-in matches. Implement some kind of message forum in the game itself for players who are searching for clubs. Goalkeepers need to be more responsive if you ask for the ball. AI should not take set pieces on the opponent's half, only the players. Improve rating system. Sometimes your rating goes down even when you have a successful pass. Being able to use custom tactics. Red cards for keepers. More matchmaking options, like being able to select three or fewer opponents. And the last thing is, bring pro clubs back to the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. And that is everything I want to say about pro clubs for now. By this you can see on how many aspects EA can improve in the game mode. The fact why they have abandoned this game mode is outrageous. Anyway, if you, yourself, have any suggestions or comments about these ideas, please let me know. I would love to hear your opinions about this. So thank you all for watching and sticking with me to the end of the video. See you guys in the next English video.